I don't know about you, but finding a deal on eBay can feel like finding a hidden treasure. But what if someone tries to steal that treasure and your account right from under you? Today we're going to learn how that is possible and more importantly, how to stop it. This is the Ultra Blue channel and I'm Datos and in this video, we are continuing our Z Fisher series by exploring how to stimulate a phishing attack on eBay accounts. We'll show you how easy it is to create a fake login page that looks identical to the real thing. This is a crucial skill for understanding and defending against social engineering attacks. As always, this is a beginner friendly tutorial and it is for educational purposes only. Please never use this on a real person or system without explicit written permissions. Our goal here is to empower you with knowledge so you can stay safe online. In this video, we'll cover setting up Z Fisher tool for eBay, then we'll create a convincing fishing link We'll move on to demonstrating how credentials can be stolen then we'll wrap it up by providing you with crucial tips to protect your online shopping accounts now let's get started and learn how to secure your online shopping experience first we need to navigate to our z fisher directory we'll use the cd command for this so cd z fisher now that we are in the right folder, we can launch the script simply by typing in bash zfisher.sh. You see the familiar menu with a login list of services. We we'll need to find the option for eBay. You select it and then you hit enter. Next, we need a way for our fake login page to be accessible on the public internet. This screen is asking you a crucial question. How do you want to make your fishing page accessible? So let's break each of the trade port providing services so you can understand what they do and which one to choose. Now the first is localhost. It is an option that does not create a public link. Instead, it runs a fishing server on your local machine which is accessible at your IP address. So this is the testing and development mode. You should always choose this option first to see what your fishing page looks like and to make sure that it's working correctly in your own browser so you can check the layout test the input fields and see how the capture credentials will look without actually exposing anything to the internet so in short you choose this local host to preview your work and you cannot use this option to send a link to anyone the next is cloudflare this is the popular and reliable tunneling service provided by cloudflare it will generate a secure public url that connects directly to your phishing page running on your machine. The auto detect tag means that ZFisher will likely automatically check if you have the Cloudflare tool installed and help you run it. This is the most common option you will choose when you are ready to send a link to a target. It is generally stable, fast and the URL it generates can sometimes look more legitimate than a random IP address. The third option you would see is that the local expose. This is another third party tunneling service similar in function to Cloudflare. It also creates a public URL that forwards to your local machine. This is an alternative to Cloud. Sometimes one service might be blocked by a network or might simply prefer to use another. However, you should pay close attention that after 15 minutes, the link is going to die. So I'm just going to choose one of them and then we'll continue from there. Zfisher will now work its magic, setting up both the fake web page and the ng rock tunnel. Once it is done, you see a public URL. This is the link you will use in a stimulated attack. For example, an attacker might send an email saying a recent bid on an item has been cancelled. Please log in to confirm. That link would actually lead to the fake login page. Now, let's see what the fake page looks like. I'll paste the generated URL into a web browser. As you can see, the page is perfectly cloned for the real eBay login. The user sees a familiar site and has no reason to be suspicious. Now I'll enter some sample credentials. So let's say our username I use testsuser at gmail.com and then our password I say my super secure pass123. Then I'll click sign in. The page redirects to the real eBay website from the user's perspective actually but nothing seems wrong. They might just think they mistyped their password and then they have to try again. But on your curly Linux terminal, the username and password has been captured and are displayed right here. This is exactly how attackers can steal your information, leaving your account 
vulnerable. Now, this demonstration shows how convincing and effective phishing can be, but you are now better prepared to defend yourself. Here are the key takeaways to protect your online shopping accounts. 1. Check the URL. Before you enter your login information, always look at the address bar. The real eBay URL is ebay.com. If you see anything else, it is usually a scam. The next is use a password manager. These tools can automatically fill in your password but only on the correct verified websites, which prevents you from accidentally typing them into a fake website. The thirdly is to enable two-factor authentication. 2 f Even if a scammer gets your password, they won't be able to log in without the second authentication factor, such as a code from your phone. I hope this video was a vulnerable lesson in cyber security. If you found it helpful, please like this video and subscribe to Ultra Blue Tech for more tutorials on ethical hacking and staying safe online. I'm Deros, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.